Can we put can can we just put in the bed that you, this talk of Anthony Richardson going first overall is ludicrous? Blake, wait until after the combine. Oh, it is going to be realer than it's ever Joe, been. He's throwing, Watch him test. Joe, no, no, no. I'm Joe, talking about the athletic Joe, numbers. No, Joe, Joe, he's throwing on air. Not the air stuff. Well, first of all, he's going to have a throw that's going to be silly. That's like 80 yards. But, like but You know who had a throw that was silly last draft? Malik. Like, well, yeah. But here's my point, though. He's going to run a crazy 40 time. He's going to jump out the Do gym. you think he he's, runs? Do you think he runs? He should. And I think that, I don't that think would be he runs. Or that would be, I, I would think it would be really bad advising by his team and his his uh, his training staff to say don't run because no, if Lamar he runs like run. a, if you but Kyler Lamar didn't shooter run. ran. They should but Lamar, uh, Kyler didn't need to do anything. But Anthony Richardson okay. has a well, lot of money to gain if he goes out and he runs a four five or even faster than that. No, he's got to run faster than that. He's got to run in the four four. Joe, he's got. If he runs a four four, he's the first overall pick. That is enough to. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, trust me. There, there is no. Well, first off, who's got the first pick? Texans. The Bears do, but if somebody somebody needs to just be in absolute awe and then get fall in love and be like, I can't, I can't lose this. Oh, y'all! I'm telling you, y'all, y'all are okay. I'm telling you, hit the hype right. after the after the combine, unless he doesn't do any testing, is going to be at a so historic y'all are so, level. Y'all are so dumb for taking him with the number one. I, I don't think pick. he should be. I think he deserves to be a top ten pick. But oh after God. the combine, the hype is going to be high. But why are why is Will Levis a top ten pick who's twenty four you know and developmental? Let me, let me tell you why. Because you don't watch why? football the way that I do. Those interceptions are not created equal. But but Blake, hold here's on, the hold on. Those interceptions are created equal. You know why? Did you see the? Did you see? I, I forget who put it. Yeah, Joe, uh, uh, the, the fifteen interceptions, nine of them hit receivers in the hands. One of them, actually, two of them hit off a receiver's helmet and boinked off in the air. Like I'm not making the decision because he had the interceptions. I'm making the decision because I watched the guy on tape and I'm like. There's a lot of throws that go incomplete that I'm just thinking. You didn't Anthony Richardson then. Dude, but the my point here is that if we get excited over traits and we get excited about, like, if this guy puts it together, you know, he's, he's going to be really good. He's losing you and your little JJ gets Yes. Wet. Yes, he does. He absolutely does. That's oh, true. My, po- my point is that if, if we're getting excited over Will Levis for the same stuff and he's 24, I am going to rank the 21-year-old who gets me just as excited ahead of him. He's got more room to grow. He's played less games of football. He's been around on this earth for three less years. He has more improving to do. I absolutely take him in the top 10, and I absolutely take him over Will Levis. Can I show you something very quickly? I'm not going to like it, but go for it. Yeah, you're not going to like it because it's going to make you look like a Rudy Poo. Hold on. I don't care about interception stats. I don't care about the interception numbers. I don't care about I don't care about the interception stats either. I care about the traits. Joe, he went nine of twenty seven. He threw three touchdowns. And how many rushing yards did he have? Forty one. Oh, that's not that many, actually. I want to watch that game. I want to watch that game. How many of those sacks? You're going to have to sit here and justify to me. And then look at Jordan Travis, 13 of 30. You're saying that the number one overall picks last game, last game that he – hold on. The last game that he played, he went 9 of 27. Oh, and he had three touchdowns. I don't give a fuck if he had 77 touchdowns or had nine completions and nine touchdowns. The motherfucker went 9 of 27, and you're saying, Mr. Blake, talk about the traits. But I can find these games for Will Levis. So why is Will Levis in the conversation for first overall? Look look at his Georgia you stats. You never heard me say Will Levis number one overall. Because he never deserved to be in the conversation. And neither does Anthony Richardson. But he's 21. He's young. There is so much. I don't so give fucks if he's 25. I don't give a damn what his age is. Joe, he can't throw. He's inaccurate. <laughs> he if any old. other... Let me yep. let me throw this at you. Okay. What if I came? What if I came to you? What if I came to you and had a blind resume on the next show and said pick one, and you just had to pick one? And I said, listen, 
They had the same amount of explosiveness. They probably run the same 40 time and have a lot of the same things and traits on the ground. You, would, you wouldn't you would even know who both of those quarterbacks were. And one of the quarterbacks would be more accurate, have more touchdown passes, less interceptions. And one of them's Will Levis? No, one of them's Jane Daniels. And I know for an absolute fact, because I've done oh, this before, you okay. wouldn't take Jane Daniels with the number overall pick. No, okay. never. Never. Well, Joe, here's the stat for the your traits ass. are different. Hold on, hold on. He had less attempts. He had more rushing yards. He had more touchdowns on the ground. He had more passing yards. He had more passing attempts. He had more passing touchdowns. And one guy went to the SC West or won the SC West and went to the SC Championship game. And you're gonna sit here and talk to me about traits. The only trait that I like, you know what it is? Winning. One guy had a better offensive line, a better offensive coordinator, a better quarterback coach, a better head coach, better receivers, better but we're running talking backs. About the number one overall pick. We just spent the whole show talking about how Anthony Richardson had nothing. He was the only thing going for them. Oh, am I going to have to do this again? Am I? Am I literally going to have to? He do He was this everything. Again? They tr they relied on him no, too Joe, heavily. No, Joe, Joe. He hold was on. set up for failure. Hold on, hold on. Let me do this one more time. There's a lot of guys that are going nine for 27. There's Joe, a lot of guys going nine for 27 Joe, with no one to throw Joe, the ball to. Joe, you're going to sit here and tell me that he had nothing when he had one running back run for 17 carries, 129 yards, and another running back have 17 carries. And but that wasn't, yards. that wasn't consistent. That wasn't consistent. Okay. Do you want me to pull up another game? Because they did it all year long. What was Travis or Trevor Etienne's final rushing total? Because I know he wasn't. I don't, I don't remember that off the top of my head. But Joe, let me just tell you something. They ran the football at a high clip, a very high clip. A lot of that was because they wait, had Anthony wait, Richardson to set this, that up. Let me ask you this question: You do an NFL draft show, correct? Yes, I do. Where's where is Osiris Torrance going? Uh, top of the second round, middle of the second round. But outside of that, what other offensive linemen did they have? you didn't have anybody like that. You saying who somebody had the better O line? Says a who? better cohesive offensive line unit. I think with, we can well, agree that three starting freshmen. I think that the, uh, said, three starting freshmen. But they were still a better the way that they played against Alabama. They didn't look like freshmen. I think oh, we can so agree that's they were. The only they, game you watch was Alabama. No, but my point is, is that they were a cohesive unit compared to Florida. I didn't feel uh, like I got that. I watched. I watched all season long. Anthony Richardson trying to do too much. It, it, it reminds me of Josh Allen having to do everything at oh Wyoming because he had nothing God. going for him. He had Stop. no help. Stop. Stop. That's not an unrealistic comp. That's not an unrealistic comp. Oh, my Christ. Josh Allen threw for 55% in his final year, and he was drafted. He's the best quarterback in that class. Wyoming had 60-something drops that season. Why yeah. did he throw for 55% completion percentage? Because his receivers had 60 drops. There were a bunch of walk-ons. Yeah, I don't That's disagree my with points. that. That's my point. You would – so, it, uh, by the way, and Mel Kuyper talked about this when he got drafted. If they would have ca caught half of them, Joe, he would have been at 64% completion percentage. I st I still think that that there is there are things that you can pull from with with Josh Allen. I think that there absolutely are. We could probably sit here and yell about this for the next hour.